Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In previous videos, we have learned how to draw orthographics view in first angle projection system and third angle projection system, right? In this video, we will learn how to draw a sectional orthography of any object. So, sectional view is nothing but uh, let's say this is my object, right? So, if we cut this object through this axis what would be the outcome or what would be the remaining part that is visible while see while viewing from this side so that we have to imagine and we have to draw over here right so let's draw the sectional front view of this object so this is my object now here a section plane or cutting plane line is drawn over here we cut this object using a plane right uh, along this axis so if we cut along this axis whatever the remaining part that is visible that we have to draw now during the sectional view orthography we already know how to uh, how to draw the front view of the object right so in a sectional orthography whatever the uh, area or whatever the surfaces which are in contact with the uh, cutting plane that surfaces we have to represent using section line right so this is my cutting plane which is clearly indicated in a top of you so we have already drawn this view okay so if we cut this object along this axis what would be my uh, view after removing this part right so in this this direction indicates that the uh, this part will remain as it is this part will be removed right so let's start drawing the sectional front view so we are cutting this object from this uh, direction so we already know we have already found the l b and h length and uh, height of the object so length of the object we have drawn over here that is 115 and height of the object is 45 so if we make a rectangle of 45 by 115 in that rectangle we can draw our sectional front view right so let's start drawing the sectional front view So this is my light rectangle now let's start drawing the sectional front view so let's start drawing from this corner point we have to move from this to this that is nothing but 15 millimeter so from this corner point let's move 15 millimeter so this is my 15 millimeter let's make this edge as a also darker one because this inclined edge will be throughout this length So we have drawn up to this now let's before proceeding further let's first identify the center line what is the position of center line so center line is at a distance of from this extreme edge is at a distance of 25 so from this extreme edge at a distance of 25 we have one center line and from this extreme edge at a distance of again 25 we have another center line So this is the center line now up to this point there will be the continuous area right so this is nothing but from center line uh, the diameter radius of the inter, inter, internal circle is 11 millimeters so from center line we have to mark one point over here and another point over here so this edge will be visible in a sectional view so from 11 millimeter on both this side here also this circular hole the 
14 millimeter on both this side so let's draw the let's first continuously draw this continuous line up to this point so length of that is 45 plus 25 so that would be 70 So we have drawn up to this now from this point onward we have to move upward and then again continuous line so from this point onward let's move upward Okay, now when we cut this object, right, so this is a cylindrical hall, we will, we can see it's a two edge, which is vertically over here, isn't it? Similar way, here also we can see it's a two edge, which is perpendicular and throughout this height, right? So, we have to draw it using visible line in a sectional view, right? So that visible edge will be at a radius of 11 millimeter from this center line and at a radius of 14 millimeter from this center line. So let's draw that. Okay. Now let's identify or uh, this point which uh, so. In a front view, this wave is inclined and this wave will only be represented as a straight line. So from this edge, it is at a distance of 13 millimeter. So let's mark that point over here. Right. Now we have to draw the section line. So how to draw section line? So the surface area which are in contact with the cutting plane that should be represented using the uh, section line. So this part of the object is will be in contact with the section line. right? This part of the object will not be in contact with the section line because of there is no any continuous material over here. Again, we will not represent section line in the area of a wave. So here we will not represent the section line. Right. Similar way here also, in this part of the problem, the area is not in contact with the section plane line. So, we will not represent it using section line. So, remaining part we have to draw a section line using roller scale. So, a section line should be drawn at an approximate angle of 45 degree. And distance between two section lines should be around 1 or 2 millimeter. So this way you can draw the section line over here throughout your section. It should be in the unidirectional and uh, approximate distance between two section line would be around 1 to 2 millimeter, not more than that, right? And uh, in the part of wave, uh, we will not represent the section line, right? Now, my question is why we haven't drawn the section line over here in this section and in, the, in this section. If you know the answer, uh, do comment in the comment section. We'll do such a more problem in the next video. 
till then good bye have a good day and uh, do like share and subscribe to my channel for such a more content and we'll see you in the next video